Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going wicked low key because I didn't do no makeup or hair because it's Sunday and I don't feel like it. But um, it doesn't really matter because today's topic doesn't require makeup because we're not talking makeup. Today we are going to do a BuzzFeed quiz that is older than dirt and everyone on their dog has done this on YouTube. But I think it's fucking hilarious so I'm going to do it anyways. Um, this one's called How Much of a Feminist Are You? So I'm pretty sure I'm going to fail but we're going to go through it anyway because BuzzFeed is, as you know... Very odd as a website. Their quizzes are dumb as fuck, but they're hilarious. So let's go through and see how bad a feminist I am. All right, let's see. Check all the reply. I would be willing to give up my, some of my salary if I had to so that equal pay in my workplace could be a reality. No, no, I'm not giving up my, my pay in any way for a fictitious fe thing. It's nonsense. I don't get paid less than my male counterparts for the same job. That's stupid. So I'm not giving up my salary for something that doesn't exist. That's nonsense. Um, I believe that men and women should be equal. Yeah, absolutely. But that makes me an egalitarian, not a feminist. It's a different word. Look it up. I can't help but be bothered when a song includes misogynistic lyrics, even when I otherwise like the song. No, if I like your song, I don't give a shit whether you're calling women bitches and hoes. Or if you're telling me you're going to go beat up a nigga, it don't fucking matter. If it's a good song, I'm going to listen to it and I'm going to enjoy it. If I don't like the artist, then I'm not going to listen to the song. But it's not because of the, the misogynistic lyrics. It's got a good beat and I can dance to it. Done. Uh, I know who Bell Hooks is. I have no fucking clue. And I'm not about to go Google it to look it up. I can define intersectional feminism. No, I think it's a made-up thing because nobody can give me a straight definition on what that is. I think it's supposed to include everybody, but I don't really know. So maybe I'm privileged. Maybe I don't know. But intersectional feminism sounds stupid to me. I don't understand what it means. Everybody should just get along. I don't use the phrase, hey, guys, when referring to a group of women, uh, people, including men and women. No, I do it all the time. I will call you dude, bud, hun. I don't care if you're male or female. It does not make any difference to me. I don't judge people based on their gender. I just base them based on their character. So I'll say, hey guys, hey dude, hey buds, what's up? Doesn't matter. I don't care who's in the group. I have taken a women or gender study class. No, all the classes I actually took were helpful for my education. I think it's important to encourage girls to pursue science and math as a career. I think it's important to let women choose whatever career they want. It's not my job to tell them what to do. Women should be allowed to apply for a job if they fulfill 60% of the job requirements. No. Male, female, doesn't matter. If you do not meet the job requirements, you do not get the job. I don't give a shit if you're a female or you're a male. It doesn't matter. If you can't do the job, don't apply for the job. I think we should change women's bathroom symbols to not include traditional feminist clothing, i.e. skirts and dresses. I don't give a fuck. If it's got a stall and I can piss in it, I don't care. Make them all unisex as far as I'm concerned, I don't care. I do not give a shit who's in the bathroom with me. If they're not bothering me and I can pee, I don't care. I believe trans people should be able to use whichever bathroom they want identify with. Sure, why not? Because again, I don't give a fuck who's peeing in the next stall next to me, I don't care. I believe it's important to encourage women to negotiate. I believe it's important to complete your question because that doesn't make any sense. Negotiate for what? I believe Jennifer Lawrence should earn as much as her male co-stars. I believe if Jennifer Lawrence has the same screen time and amount of lines as her co-stars, then yes, they should get paid the same. I believe if Jennifer Lawrence walked by with a coffee in the background while Bruce Willis is the star of the movie and in 98% of the scenes, then absolutely not. They should not get paid the same. It shouldn't be based on gender. It should be based on amount of screen time and amount of lines. If it's the same, pay them the same. If it's not, then don't. So again, this is not a complete question. I'm not clicking yes to this. I don't think a movie should be released unless it passes the Bechdel test. I think the Bechdel test is bullshit, and I don't think that has anything to do with whether a movie should be released or not. If your movie's good, I will see it. If your movie is not good, I will not see it. Either way, I'm not spending $25 to see it in theater. I'll probably just wait for it to come out on Xbox. I believe all genders are entitled to the same social and political rights. Yes, I do believe that, and I also believe we already do. 
because male or female, I'm covered by human rights. I have human rights. I have the Charter of Rights and Freedoms in my country. So I don't need special treatment because I'm a woman. I've already got human rights. I'm covered. I can explain why 78 cents to the dollar is not a fully accurate description of the gender wage gap. Oh, absolutely I can. Because it's made up. Basic economics tells us that if it was 78 cents to hire a woman and a dollar to hire a man, every company on the planet's goal is to make money, all men would be unemployed. So yeah, I can explain why 78 cents to the dollar is a not a fully accurate description because it's bullshit. That's why. I believe that a woman who possesses cert certain types of privilege are responsible for advocating for women who don't have their level of privilege. No. I don't believe it's my job in any way, shape, or form to tell another woman how to live her life. I don't believe that just because I was born white makes me more privileged than somebody else. I grew up with welfare Christmas. I know what mystery meat from the food bank tastes like. I don't consider that a fucking privilege just because my skin is light. And on the matter of skin is light for the fact... For just the fact of the matter, I got picked on just as much for being so fucking pale growing up as some of my darker counterpart friends were. So don't tell me I was fucking privileged. I got my ass whooped by girls just as much as anybody else did. Thanks. So no, I don't believe it's my job to advocate for other women. I am not your advocate. I am not your role model. Find your own fucking shit and stand up for yourself. If I had a daughter, I would encourage her to be what any to be anything she wanted to be. Sure, why not? I would make it clear to my daughter from an early age that her identity should never be defined by her relationship status. Obviously, I would tell any woman who's defining herself by her relationship status she's a fucking idiot. The fact that I'm in a relationship does not in any way define me at, at all. My character is based on the decisions I make and the things that I do. If you're judging yourself based on your fucking relationship status, you need a reality check and you really need some time alone to figure out who the fuck you are because clearly you don't know. I believe it is important to compliment a woman's intelligence over her looks. I believe you can't tell my intelligence until you've spoken to me for longer than 10 minutes. So if you want to tell me my outfit's pretty, feel fucking free. Because I don't walk around with a fucking IQ number tattooed on my forehead. How are you supposed to tell my intelligence until you speak to me? That's dumb. Not clicking that. I believe that a woman has a right to choose what happens to her body. Sure. You want to get fat? Get fat. You want to be skinny? Get skinny. Oh, wait. You're all talking about abortion and how a woman shouldn't have to check with a man before she commits him to a life of child support. Is that what this question is for? This is a veiled abortion question? Well, sure. Absolutely. I think a woman has a right to choose whether she has an abortion. I also think a man has a right to choose whether he's morally or financially obligated to a child for the rest of his existence. If a woman chooses to have a child, I think a man should have the right to legally opt out of that child's life. Because if she's going to take the decision out of his hands, I don't think he's responsible morally or financially for a child he didn't want. You both made the kid. You both have a say. You want to have the kid and he doesn't? Fine, have the kid. He gets to opt out of that and not pay you a fucking cent. Because I don't think anybody should be forced to have a child that they don't want. In an instance of sexual assault against female, I am inclined to believe that the assaulted person is telling the truth until proven otherwise. Yeah, I agree with Shuan Head. The word female in this question is not needed in any way. If someone is sexually assaulted and they tell me that, I'm fully capable of empathizing with that person and feeling bad for what you've gone through, but until you can prove to me what happened, I'm not immediately going to get the lynch squad together and go after a dude. Because I honestly don't think that you should get to try somebody on the fucking court of public opinion on Facebook, Instagram, Tinder, and all the rest of it until you can actually make a formal complaint to the police. I understand not everybody goes to the police, and yes, absolutely you should talk to your loved ones about it, but don't go on social media and destroy a dude's life unless you're willing to make the formal complaint to the police. Because it's illegal to make a formal complaint to the police for something that didn't happen. And if you're not willing to stand up and go to the police about it, you don't get to ruin someone's life over something that you said happened that you can't prove. A proof is a proof. Until you can bring me a proof, I'm not believing you. But I can absolutely feel bad for what you went through. So, no. Again, I'm not clicking this box because I don't agree with that. And I don't see why the word female is in there. It should be any sexual assault victim. A sexual assault happens to men just as much as it happens to women. 
I can explain Marlena Dietrich's influence on female fashion. Of course I can. I was going to go for her as her for Halloween. That's stupid. I don't understand what that has to do with being a feminist, but sure, whatever. Marlena wore pants. I know what a bad feminist is. Absolutely, I do. Um, bad feminists will have bright red hair and scream in your face, fuck face, when you're not listening to what they want to say. Um, and if you want a male counterpart to that, Steve Shies is a bad fucking feminist. Because anybody who's going to sit there and go on about, oh, I support women, nah, 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 and then block me as a woman been, without ever having spoken to me in any way, shape, or form, simply because you don't like who I follow, you're a fucking hypocrite and a bad feminist, Steve. That That's above and beyond you being a fucking pussy. Because seriously, how are you going to stand up and act like you're the white knight of feminism? Woo! We should all love Steve Shives. I'm a fucking woman. You never even asked me my fucking opinion. You just went, oh, she follows Armored Skeptic, Bearing, She One Head, TJ. Uh, clearly, she's a fucking idiot. Gone. And, but you know what? In the fact of this matter, Steve, I would rather be with all of those people and stand and fight with them every fucking day than spend 10 minutes in an elevator with you. So yeah, I know what a bad feminist is. I believe that women should be able to dress however they want without it dictating how they are treated by society. No, I don't believe that. I don't think just because you decided to dress like a hoe that I don't have the right to tell you you look like a hoe. If you look like a clown and your eyebrows are this fucking big and up here and drawn on in a sharpie, I'm going to make fun of you for that. Just because you have the right to choose how you want to dress does not mean you have the right to dictate how other people feel about it. I've never said that a woman was asking for it. No, I've never said that. I am offended by catcalls. Nope. Not even remotely. First of all, I don't get catcalled. I walk to work every day. I walk around all the time. I've never once had somebody sit there, hey baby, what's up? Never fucking happened to me. I've had people compliment me on the way I look, and if I put 45 minutes into my hair and makeup and my outfit, fucking right, you better pay attention. I didn't do this for my own fucking good. I could look like this. This is fine. But I put 45 minutes into hair and makeup and someone wants to pay me a compliment? Feel free. I don't think women should get VIP treatment at clubs and bars just for being women. I'll click that, yeah. I don't think I should get fucking special treatment just because I have a twat. I think police brutality and correlation with race is a feminist issue. No, it's a racist issue. It has nothing to do with feminism. A policeman beats a black man, it's because he's black. It's not because of feminism. A bunch of fucking cops pull a black girl over and rape her on the side of the road for 11 minutes on fucking camera. Look it up. It happened. That's not because she's a woman. It's because she's fucking black and they think they have the right. That's a racism issue that's completely separate. It has nothing to do with feminism. It doesn't make it any better or worse. It just doesn't make it feminism. I think we should stop promoting models as the ideal female body type. I don't care what you promote. Models have nothing to do with how I feel about myself. It's self-esteem. It's my esteem of myself. It has nothing to do with models. Fuck. In fact, every time I see a model, all I want to do is hold her down and force feed her a cheeseburger, so I'm really not looking up to them in that manner. I think we should stop photoshopping women's bodies on the media. I think that's never going to happen, and it doesn't matter. If you're putting all your self-worth into a Photoshop photo of Kim Kardashian, you need to get out more and figure out who you are. I've never called a woman bossy. No, I do that all the time. Um, I think a company should offer more child-friendly time and programs for women who ha are having children. Why should women get preference over men? If my gay friend Joe adopts a kid tomorrow, are you telling me he doesn't get child-friendly time and programs for him because he's not a woman? Is that what you're telling me? This, this doesn't make any sense. I don't think companies should have anything to do with child-rearing. I believe that women should be... A offered the same opportunities and promotions as her male counterparts. Yeah, I believe that, and I do. When I got promoted recently, there were men and women in my training class, so I don't see what the point here is. I believe that if a woman wants to pay on a date, her date should let her. Who the fuck is not letting women pay for food? Like, never once have I ever been on a date with my man and went, I want to pay for dinner. And he went, fuck you, no, I'm the man, I'm fucking paying, fuck you, get the fuck back in the kitchen. Never happened. If I want to take my man out for pizza, fine. 
Treat your man like a king, he'll treat you like a queen. If you treat him like an ATM, he'll fucking walk away. I believe that women should have easy access to birth control. I do. And I have easy access to birth control. I can walk into my doctor's office, who's a man by the way, at any point and go, I can't afford birth control, and he'll give me free samples. I have healthcare in my country, which I feel bad for Americans because y'all don't, but my birth control is covered anyway. So yeah, I believe we should have easy access to birth control. I also think we should have male birth control that they have easy access to, but we don't have that yet, so I believe that in a relationship, the domestic duties should be shared. Duh. What are we living in the 50s? What the fuck? What kind of question is that? I think that a couple should have equal responsibilities over the aesthetic and cleanliness of their home. Yeah, I fully expect that if I came home one day and I, or if my man came home one day and I painted the whole apartment pink, that he should be pissed off about that because I never told him. We both live here. We both pay rent. It's our house, so we decorate. Let's not be stupid. <laughs> it's not like I'm like, honey, no, I'm sorry. You're a man. You've got a dick. You can't pick out curtains. What are you, stupid? It's retarded. What kind of question is that? I believe that men, men should be encouraged to be involved and make choices in the wedding planning process. I think wedding is, is an industry that is way too expensive. Personally, I'm perfectly fine with two people getting married at a justice of the peace with two witnesses. There doesn't need to be a planning process. If you love somebody, you don't need to spend as much as a house to prove that to everybody and their dog. I've never been one of these girls who had like a binder and was like, when I was five, I knew exactly what my wedding was going to look like and I want a dress that goes way out to here and makes me look like a princess. I don't fucking care. I'm like, weddings are not a thing that bother me. If I find somebody I want to spend the rest of my life with, I don't need the legal paper to tell me that. If the other person needs the legal paper, let's go to the justice of the peace and get this fucking done with and then spend all the money on vacation. Or, you know, a car, which you could probably buy for the price of a fucking wedding dress these days. So, no, I don't believe men should be encouraged to be involved in anything they don't want to be involved in. I believe that men and women have the same emotional strength. Sure. I don't even know what emotional strength is. You can't move a couch with emotional strength. I, don't, I do not think that it is the responsibility of a man to protect a woman physically. <laughs> if me and my man are out in public... The one who's more likely to get mouthy and punch you in the face is me. It's not saying he can't protect me, because if it came down to it, I absolutely have no doubt at all my man can step up and defend me, but I also take responsibility for my actions and defend my own self. I'm not a fucking victim. I don't need somebody to fucking protect me physically. It is not my man's responsibility to do anything. I believe that men and women should be equally encouraged to express their emotions. Sure, why not? I have never asked a woman why she does not have children. No, I can honestly say I've never had that happen. But as somebody who can't have children and is 36 years old, I get asked every time I have the fucking sniffles. Oh my god, are you pregnant? Nobody stops to think about how insulting that is to somebody who can't have children. I decided early on I never wanted them, but if somebody's having fertility problems and you're like that every time they have a fucking cold, how do you think that makes them feel? If they've been trying for five years to get pregnant and every time you fucking, they cough in your face, they're like, oh, you're going to have a baby. Do you know how devastating that is to somebody? Be fucking sensitive. It's none of your fucking business what people's children's plans are. If you're not fucking that person, whether they want children is none of your goddamn business. I would be equally excited to have a son or a daughter. No, I would be devastated to have a child either way. It doesn't matter if it's a male or female. I have no interest in having children. I think American workplace culture is often not structured in a way that is helpful or encouraging to women to succeed. I have no opinion on Americans. I think you're all insane. You voted for, you guys have Trump in the office. How do you guys expect me to take you seriously? You're a reality TV show. I think women have the responsibility to help and encourage other women pursue their goals. Again, it is not my responsibility to pick someone up by their bootstraps and make them a success. It is their responsibility. If you want me to encourage what you're doing, fine for that. But it is not my responsibility to do that. If I don't like you, I don't have to encourage you to do anything. I think women are equally capable to men to be president of the United States. Sure, yeah, absolutely. 
But I, again, agree with shoe on head for this one because while I agree that women are equally capable to men to be president of the United States, I don't think Hillary was the woman we should have put in that office. Any more than I think that Kimberly Clark, who was a female prime minister that we had in Canada, was the right one for us either. Otherwise, she still would have been in office longer than three months. I believe that women have no responsibility to make a conscious effort to always be friendly f and polite. I think everyone has a fucking responsibility to be polite because manners are a dying thing. And if everyone was polite and friendly to each other, maybe we wouldn't have the fucking problems we have today. So, yeah, I do believe that everyone, male or female, has a responsibility to be friendly and polite to people. Stop being a fucking asshole. I have never criticized a woman for wearing makeup or, or not wearing makeup or wearing too much makeup. I've never once... Never once in my entire existence made a criticism of a woman who decided not to wear makeup. But you can bet every goddamn red cent you have that if you're walking around with eyebrows up here, drawn on with fat sharpies, and your eyeliner's down to here, and your lipstick's out to here, and your makeup all stops right here, and a ring around your face like you're wearing a stupid mask, I'm making fun of your ass. I'll make fun of your ass all day long. In fact, I'll probably take a picture so I can show it to my other friends and make fun of it with them. Because if you're going to wear makeup, learn how to wear makeup appropriately. If you're going to look like Bozo the Clown, I'm going to make fun of you because you look like Bozo the Clown. So I guess I half agree with that. I give myself a half point. And last but not the least, I believe a woman is a woman if that is what she calls herself, regardless of her physical attributes or makeup. Yeah, I agree with that to a point. If you look like a female, I'm going to call you a female until you correct me. If you politely pull me aside and go, actually, you know what, I kind of identify as a kumquat, I would really rather you call me a kumquat. Perfectly fine. I'm okay calling you kumquat. Kumquat's fine. If you want to be male, female, pony, uniform, don't care. If you politely tell me that, I have no problem with that. If I call you a female because you look like a female and you go up in my face and say, how dare you, fuck face. You can go fuck yourself. I don't want to have anything to do with you. I don't care if you're an attack helicopter or a kumquat, a male, female, unicorn, doesn't fucking matter. You're a bitch. Fuck off. All right. Let's see how bad a feminist I am. Show me my results. <laughs> All right. This is hilarious. You checked 21 out of 50 on this list. So not even half. Okay. Not even half. You're pretty woke. I'm, I'm pretty woke. Really? And you definitely try and stay informed about what's going on in the world of feminism and how you m can make it better. <laughs> so, you can get less than 50% right on this BuzzFeed quiz and still be a feminist. Woo! Good thing. Because I was pretty sure I fucking failed because I got 21 out of 50. I don't know what math you guys took, but in my math class, if I got 21 out of 50, I failed the test. <laughs> it's not even a half. Like, and then it's got a picture of an old lady here that says, "When will there be enough women on the court? What court? Basketball court? The legal court? What does this woman have to do with my results? Like, I don't understand. Is this like who is this? I don't even know who this old lady is. <laughs> but there you go. So you can take the Buzzfeed quiz for yourself. I'll put the link in the box down below." If you'd like to stay up to date on what I'm doing on her, you can always hit the subscribe button, which is also down there, and hit notifications and let you know when I put out new stuff. If you like this, you can always hit like. I don't really care. If you dislike it, hit the thumbs down. I'll find that as funny. Steve Shines decides to pop on by and get pissed off that I did bitch him out for blocking me without talking to me. You, Steve, can go right ahead and hit the no like button too. That's your prerogative. I don't give a shit. So, yeah, that was the BuzzFeed quiz of How Feminist Are You, where you can completely fail the quiz and still be a feminist. Tune in next time where we'll do another dumb BuzzFeed quiz and see how unprivileged I am. Have a good one. See you soon.